Hi everyone, I'm Antonio Canjano at technicalblogging.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a campaign with MailChimp so that every time you post to your blog, those posts are automatically sent to your subscriber base, specifically to your mailing list. In this day and age, many people uh, put a lot of emphasis on social media for good reason. But the mailing list is still your number one asset, whether you're a blog or a business. So growing your list and then keeping your list up to date with the content that you publish is still the number one strategy for your blog. So for the rest of this video, you will see me showing as a screencast the uh, way to set it up. I will provide the link below so that you can sign up with MailChimp and you can have up to 2000 subscribers for free. So you don't have to pay. You will only have to pay once your user base becomes really large. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to assume that you're already registered with the MailChimp.com. If not, you can do so by clicking on the sign up free button. I'm going to log in. And once I'm logged in, you'll notice that there is a create campaign button in the top right section of the page. Next to it, there is an arrow that allows me to select which kind of new campaign I'd like to create. In our case, we're interested in an RSS campaign, so I'm going to click that one. At this point, we are asked to provide an RSS feed URL. This is the source of your post that will be sent to your subscribers. In my case, as an example, I might provide the RSS feed for technicalblogging.com. Next, we are provided with the option to select on which days and at what time should these automated emails be sent out. I like to select 7 a.m. Pacific time so that both people on the West and East Coast will receive the emails relatively early in the day. I also like to deselect Sunday and Saturday as I don't like to send emails during the weekend. I like to select the resize RSS feed images option so that if you have larger images in your posts, they will still look good in the uh, email inbox. At this point, we can click Next. The next logical step for us is to select which mailing list should receive your updates by email and whether we want to send it to the entire list or just to save the segment that we created before. A segment is a subset of a list that meets a specified criteria. For example, you could create a segment of people from the US or perhaps people who signed up only for your most important updates. Once we have done that, we can click Next. Now we are asked to provide more information about the campaign we are about to create. For example, a name for the campaign, so that if you have multiple campaigns, you are able to distinguish them in the admin interface of MailChimp. In this case, I guess we could call it uh, Posts from blog. The second field is much more important because it's something that the end user will be able to see and it's the email subject. I like to let the email subject simply be the title of the post. So I'm going to remove the extra information here and just leave the special tag RSS feed title. Next we have the from name or who is the person who is sending the email. You can use your full name or you can use something like the name of your blog, like technical blogging. And finally, the from email address. In my case, I'm just sending it from info at technicalblogging.com. Also on this page, we can specify a few other options regarding our campaign. For example, whether we want to manage replies directly within MailChimp or whether we want those replies sent directly to our email address. I do suggest that you select the personalize the to field because this enables a spam filter to realize that the person who is sending the email not only knows the email address of the person but also their first name. So you're less likely to be flagged as spam. And then there is a, a multitude of um, options like e-commerce tracking, click tail, so third party services, um, the ability to track plain text clicks integration with Google Analytics and so on. Whether you want to show uh, the campaigns that you sent also on social media and um, finally whether to auto automatically convert your videos so that basically if your post has videos embedded 
things look much better and neater in your email uh, campaign. I do suggest you select that one. And then we can click next. We now get to the part of the process where we get to select a template for our campaign. We're in the basic tab and there are a bunch of basic templates available. To make your life a little bit easier, I do suggest that you go for a template that is already made for RSS feeds so that you don't have to code the specific RSS related tags yourself, especially if you're not experienced with the MailChimp. And you'll see here we have a basic RSS um, where just your post is displayed along with a, some kind of logo or header. And then one that is a little bit more refined where we also have a, a custom sidebar where, for example, you could have, uh, if you published a book, uh, a message where you promote your book or anything else you desire. We also have the option to go for a theme. And if we search for something like RSS, you'll see that there are quite a few options. Not too many, but there are a few op options to choose from. And um, why not? Let's select maybe, I don't know. Let's select this one. In this section, we're given the option to customize the default template that we selected so that um, we make it a little more specific to our blog. For example, we don't really like this logo, but if we click on this logo, we'll see that we have the option to edit it, including replacing the logo, the option to remove this section altogether, or to use just plain text instead. Likewise, these other sections are all editable. This section here is a preview section, which is shown to people in their uh, email client, for example, Gmail, before they click on your email. So it's good to make use of this section and use something like, um, thank you for subscribing to my posts, for example. And once I click save and close, that has been updated. I will leave this section uh, unaltered because it's always good to have a link to uh, viewing the email in their browser in case their email client is messing up the content. And then you can pretty much edit any section of this email. In this particular template, we also have three little columns here where you could promote courses, books, um, all the resources that you uh, created, perhaps uh, uh, evergreen content on your blog that you want to highlight in future to your users and so on. And at the bottom, there are some mandatory sections, including the option to unsubscribe from the list, which you must have, uh, how to update your preferences and so on. If you want to add more information at the bottom, you can also do so. I'm going to just click next for the sake of simplicity here. This final page of the wizard, we have uh, an opportunity to review all the options that we selected. For example, this campaign will be sent on weekdays at 7 a.m. Pacific time from this particular URL um, RSS feed. It will be sent to this list, which has a certain number of recipients. You will have this subject line. Replies will be handled directly by me by email. The things that I'm tracking, I'm tracking clicks in HTML emails. This is the template that I used. Plain text emails will be automatically generated from the HTML email. And you notice that social cards and multi rewards, which are two, I guess, more advanced options. Social cards create a very nice previews of your content if you share the campaign automatically on social media. In this case, I didn't select it because I feel that for RSS campaigns, you presumably already share your content on social media, your posts on social media, so you don't need your campaign to also end up there. Um, but if you do decide to share on social media, then automatically, then it makes sense to also predefine these social cards options. And Monkey Rewards is just a reward program that MailChimp has in place so that if you um, refer other people to their system, they give you some credit, which is basically what I'm doing myself. Um, if you are using the free version of uh, their plan, uh, you probably have no option. And I think Monkey Rewards is automatically enabled for you. 
We also have the option to preview and test our emails. We can click enter preview mode, which will show us how the page will look, how the email will look um, on mobile, on desktop, we can use the inbox option, which uh, basically it's a service that they provide where you can um, see the actual preview of what it would like look like in various email clients like Gmail, Hotmail, and so on. Perhaps more useful, um, you have the option to send a test email and send it to yourself. So once you click send test, this email will be sent to you using the last post in your RSS feed. So let's check what it looks like. At this point, we can go back and say, okay, I like it, everything looks good. Let me start an RSS campaign. When I click on that button, you'll see that I'm asked to confirm to start the campaign. Once I click start campaign, it's all set up for you. And every time you post a new blog post on your blog, it will be automatically sent by email to your subscribers. Both the existing subscribers and new subscribers that you will receive in the future. So obviously people who subscribe a month from now will only receive posts a month from now onward. It's not retroactive. So there you have it. I think this is a very useful feature on MailChimp. Uh, it's probably worth the cost of admission on its own. Um, so I do suggest that you set up such a campaign. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.